Hello, Manchester United fans, and welcome back to our channel for the latest updates on the Red Devils. The summer signing from Atalanta has finally made his mark in the Premier League, breaking his goal drought at the 15th attempt against Aston Villa earlier this week. It was a moment of sheer brilliance that undoubtedly injected a surge of confidence into the team and the player himself. However, our excitement is tempered by the news that Eric Ten Hag will be without the Denmark international due to illness. This unexpected setback has forced the manager to shuffle the lineup once again. Anthony returns to the starting 11, with the promising Ahmad Diallo making his way back into the first team squad, earning a well deserved place on the bench following his recovery. Before we continue, don't forget to show your support by subscribing to our channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing that like button. Your enthusiasm keeps us going, and we want to keep you updated on all things Manchester United. The absence of Rasmus Hodgland, coupled with Marshall still being unavailable due to illness, has left Ten Hag with limited options. Consequently, Marcus Rashford, despite previous struggles in the central position, has been deployed up front. In the manager's own words, Rashi is a good striker, and he is very motivated. He can play all the positions on the front line. We play Ghana back on the left and Anthony on the right. Ten Hag, in a pre-match press conference, reiterated his unwavering confidence in Rashford, emphasizing the player's resilience and character. The manager expressed belief in Rashford's ability to continue finding the back of the net, especially after his recent breakthrough in the Premier League. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think the team will fare without Hodgland and Marshall in the upcoming fixtures?